Okay, if you guys just take that red pill now, and then in about okay. 20 minutes, All right. you take the blue one. Well, the red and the blue. Well, you know, you want it, you gotta time them differently for everything to kick in. Okay, yeah, no. Oh god, this okay. is already fucked up. Um, don't worry, once once I start clearing some lines, shit will kick in. You lines. guys will really start to feel okay, it. Okay, so blue pills, red pills, and lines. Yeah. That can only mean one thing. It's Tetris. Brad, it's Tetris. Brad, it's Tetris. I like this one. Yeah, this is maybe my favorite track. This is Tetris Effect. This one's peaceful. The hottest, newest Tetris game on the market. Uh, Maximum Tetris. Brought to you by the man behind such games as Rez and Luminous. Mm hmm. Uh. And yeah, he made Tetris. I right, know you guys talk after Tetris. Yeah, no, Ben is the busy Tetris. I mean, I made Tetris. It's kind of a bold claim. <laughs> Put out a Tetris. <laughs> they, they did a Tetris. Tetsuya Mizuguchi lived in Russia. Yes. And I should I should point out. I mean, I know he had a ton of influence on this game, but he's actually not the director of this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I know Enhance is a fairly small operation, but uh, you know, just 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 to give due to the other members of the team, but. Uh, that said, like, his stamp is all over this game. <laughs> this game... It is very it is much... the skin concept of Luminous, yes. but it's Tetris. All right, thanks yes. for watching. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. No, that, but... It... Um, this is game is an experience. I, I would actually say, yes, it is It is very much Luminous for Tetris, and it is also kind of Res Infinite for Tetris, especially in VR. Yes. Like, a lot of these backgrounds very much feel like Area X from Res Infinite. Oh, yeah, okay, Just yeah. Just with, like, I, yeah. crazy particle systems flying all over the place. Right. Like neon lights and... And it's just kind of got his style to it, you know? Yes. Like, uh, there's a certain, there's a certain, like, turn-of-the-century dance music quality to a lot of his stuff, you know? It gets tribal when it needs yeah. to. And, it, uh, yep. and a lot of it is just very uplifting and kind of life-affirming yeah. to, to me. And. Yeah. You know, to, to really sell the experience part of it, uh, it's not immediately clear, but a lot of these sounds are coming out of me. Like yeah. making every rotation, every time you drop a piece, hold a piece, those all contribute to the song. So it does Sorry, make yeah, it I guess that, that's what I meant, yeah, for, for, that, that that is what I was getting at when I said it, it's luminous, is right. that like, yeah, like every move you make is like, part of this overall skin. The song, the look of it, the, the sounds it makes when you move the pieces, it's all unique to this moment, and now you are moving to the next skin. Yeah, so kind of this, the skins evolve as you clear more and more lines. We're playing on normal here. Uh, it's kind of universally 36 lines on this difficulty to get through each stage, uh, barring the last one. And uh, I guess like that stuff also changes over the course of it. Like after you make a few lines, you will hear a noise, and then everything from like the the piece speed to the music to the look of it will will evolve kind of mid skin. Yeah, there will be like transitions within a single sort of motif. Transitions within. That's that Final Fantasy movie, right? Yeah. I really like this one because it's just all percussion, kind of. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of woodblocky kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Um, I played through most of this in VR. Well, this is PS4 exclusive as of now. Played right, on, on yeah. PSVR. And uh, how did it treat you? It's good. I do really like the VR. Yeah. It, it is the know. first game I have felt like I enjoy as much in VR as I do out of VR. It's a, it's a fantastic experience. Like, it is obviously completely inessential to the playing of Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> sure, uh, yeah. But it makes these skins really but, sing. But it is, yeah, it is a fantastic way to experience just the sort of audiovisual quality of this game. Uh, I will say, like, it gets hard enough at the end that there were backgrounds that I went through entirely without even noticing what the background was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because the last few levels, even on normal, are crazy fast. Right. You get very focused yeah. on the Tetris. And, and I think, you know, this is something that you could say about Luminous as, as well, but, like... You get so focused on the video game that, like, the skin just doesn't even... It's like it's not even there. Yeah, it doesn't register. Um, Until, like, you know, you, you get a breather, and then you transition to the next one, and right. you sort of get to take it in as it flies away from you. Yeah. <sighs> uh, this, this one's my favorite song, I think. It's the one I'm thinking of. 
Nope, must be the last one. I kinda, I, this is the most minor nitpicky thing. I sort of wish they had found a way to blend the... I was about to say that exact same Backgrounds, thing. yes, from it is, one to the next. Uh, Ooh, I, I because, actually, because especially... Because all of them do that and the, the yeah. tunnel thing. Yes. Like, I wish there was something a little more seamless yes. and musical about the transition. See, I actually really like it because it's a way to break me out of like the Tetris zone for a brief second. It, it clears my mind. I'm kind of, I feel like I have a moment to like breathe. Uh, when I hear that familiar sound, mm. it's just like, okay, I've accomplished my goal. I mean, I, I mostly say that from- You've tetris Yes. I, I mostly say that from having played it in VR. Oh, because, okay. Because they're like you almost achieve kind of a feeling of reverie with some of these, because you know, the stuff's all around you. Yeah, the particles are swirling all exactly. around your head. Yeah, and, like, and the music is filling your ears from the headphones, and like you're just, you're just vibing on it, man. Yeah, and, and, and a more seamless. Yeah, transition. talk about this. Oh yes, uh, zone mode. Uh, you you fill a meter uh, in the lower left there, and uh, when you pop it using like R two, uh, you enter the zone, and that makes it so the pieces stop dropping uh, on their own. You pick, choose when they drop, and then when you create a line, it sinks to the bottom. So you can kind of if, ah! if you're using it properly. You can use it to kind of dig yourself out of a a, a bad spot, or and you can, they all blow up at the end. Or you can make things worse for yourself by, yep. making, yes, by I, making a giant mess. I have uh, I have I've had to go both ways. I have entered the zone poorly before. What's the highest tris you guys have achieved? Like 13, 12, 13, Yeah, I got I mean, my you first have sixteen. Did, did I get, I, yes, no. I saw you on the leaderboard uh, with thirteen, and I was okay. jealous. And then I also hit thirteen. So, um, I never looked at that leaderboard. Yeah, so, yeah, it's it's the transitions between stages and also when you fail and have to continue. I wish it would yeah. just keep the music playing. That would be nice. Because it, it starts the track over from the beginning when, oh. you, when you restart well, the stage. Yeah. It's I mean, very minor stuff. Like, the game is fantastic. Like, I'm only nitpicking because there's not much else to... I, I think I, the, the thing I'd say is that I started playing it exclusively in VR and then eventually was like, actually... I might like this video game better out of yeah, VR. Yeah, I think that's totally the way to go. Like, uh, you play it in VR a couple times for the experience. Exactly, and then yeah. And then once you decide to get serious about the Tetris. Yeah, uh, it was very hard to get serious about the Tetris in VR, yeah. I found. Uh, uh, and it, I mean, they seem conscious of that because there are even a lot of options for turning down particle effects and things like oh, right. in front of the board and stuff like that. Ben, can you T-spin? Uh, theoretically, I, I can T-spin in action, but setting them up is the hard part for me. Yeah, I feel like I, that, that is, uh, that kind Here of, we go. That's, that's that 90s Tetris, that's that, that's that, that late 90s, early 2000s Tetris that, uh, was, uh, on the other side of my skill gap, I guess. There's, uh, we'll get into the other modes later, but there's some other modes in this game, and they all help you kind of develop different skill sets when it comes to Tetris. Uh, and one of them has a lot of T-spinning. Cool, good. Get good at it. I would like to... Oh, interesting. I would like to finally master the T-spin, or at least understand what exactly it is and how to do it yes. with some regularity. Because it tells you when you T-spin, or even when you... Uh, right. What is it, mini T-spin? I think is there is a lesser form of T-spin that it also calls out. A lesser T-spin. Uh, and, and I don't know if it's the case in this game, but classically in Tetris, uh, a T-spin is worth one and a half Tetrises. A double, if you clear two lines with a T-spin, which is the most you can do, it is worth a Tetris and a half. So if you're going for score, that's, you really want to be setting up T-spins. I, I, I was gonna say that it, it notifies you when you get that stuff, but I still have yet to quite figure out what it is. Yeah. Uh, now I like how it says Tetris over there on the left, it'll say T-spin. It'll say back-to-back -back also yeah. if you're doing back-to-back -back Tetris. I, I also don't know what a, it'll count oh, a combo a if, 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 yeah, if, if yeah. you're, it's uh, clearing it, uh, Tetrises without clearing any single, double, or triple right. lines. If, if, the, if, you're two, if two line clears, it's not necessarily two pieces, so it's not like straight piece, straight piece. Uh, but there is also a combo counter for doing lines one after another, uh, one drop to the next. Is this a uh, default view? Yeah, so we can also... Yeah, I also... Really, really like they put a zoom in. Because that board is, I don't know. It's, it's a little far, it's a little, little small. small. Side. Yeah. But also, unless you see the skin, yeah. and I, I don't know, I, I I didn't have any trouble with the default size. Oh, well, I'm trying to get back to normal. -ish. I just click the sticks. Oh shit! That's great. 
You said tribal earlier, huh? I did. Here we go. How long has uh, Infinite Spin been in the rulebook? Uh, I don't know. Late 90s or something? Probably early, early 2000s early or something. 2000s. I don't know. We'd have to go look at... Uh, we have to go look at some writing on the subject right, of Tetris to, uh, to... Yeah, so I, I consider myself a Tetris fan. I like Tetris a lot, but I, I never really learned much about it because I just had my couple Tetris games that I really liked and didn't really go beyond that. And, and for me, it was like a case of like, I knew Tetris had changed. And it was like, this is not the Tetris I enjoyed on the Game Boy yeah. uh, or... You know, other, oh, yeah, so, okay, yeah, you get the, the bell rings and now it's speed nine. Um, and so, yeah, like some of those advanced Tetris skills that are, you know, to most people probably totally commonplace now, like I just never picked up on them. Same. So. <clears throat> uh, and this game helps you give meaning to some of that stuff. Like, like, I've come to appreciate the infinite spin now because the difficulty in this ramps up to the point that you have to have it. Yeah. Like, I literally could not play the higher speeds in this without it. They unbroke Tetris. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Also, probably goes without saying, a lot of vibrating in this game. Bro. You can turn on a second controller and sync it to a different part of the track no if you want No way. To. So yeah. you can have, like, gameplay on your game controller and then beat on a second controller that you've stuffed down your pants or whatever the hell you're doing. That's really cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of, this is kind of the main story mode. They call it journey mode. Uh, songs are broken out into sets here. You can see... Uh, if you fail, you don't have to start over at the beginning, but you're not going to get a good score. So like, yep. if you only got to these three, actually I can show that off here. Uh, there's different tracks for beginner, normal, and expert. You can see here I only got this far. and So I can pick up from here, but my score is going to be bad because it wants your score to be all four. Got it. Yeah, it records by section, right? Um, yeah, and then after you beat the game, you can just <laughs> sit back yeah. and let the sights and sound wash over you. Yeah, I, I Hit that. that. I love that they put this in. It's ridiculous. Enough of this gameplay. <laughs> I actually have never seen what this looks like. We'll check it out for a second. It's cool. You can fiddle with kind of everything there is. Uh, there it is. Go down. No, no. I'm going to evolve yeah, this stage. Evolve the stage. Yeah, so hit, hit extra circle. Like you can basically trigger the effects of Oh, is this like the sound effects yeah. and stuff? Okay, yeah. Okay. That's cool. I want to leave. That seems like it might be cool in VR. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it lets you really look at all that art. Yeah. That you were kind of right. not able to pay much attention to. Uh, so it also then seems like it would be proper if you were the sort of person in a soldier boy like fashion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. really appreciated yeah. getting high. Yeah. Uh huh. These are kind of the, the newer, or the, I guess. Hey, look, it's Brad. It is me. We're both level 17. Hell yeah. Oh, this is one of my favorite songs. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, let's hop in and show off these modes and then we can show off some of the customization stuff after. Brad, do you have any that you uh, are a big uh, fan of? I haven't played all of them yet. Show um, me the one that teaches T-spins and teach me T-spins. Uh, so that... Like, when you get into all clear later shit, there's some T-spins in there. Uh, this is probably my favorite I of these modes. Did they make unique backgrounds for these? I think they did. Yeah, some of them. Some of them you play on any stage that you've uh, done. Oh, okay, Puyo Puyo Tetris had a mode that was not entirely unlike this. Yeah. Uh, so this is basically like there's there's only one right answer for this, right? Yes, and they def they get more complicated the more you clear. You gotta start thinking about like color. You wanna yeah. kind of clear the lines that are the same color as your block once you get multiple types involved. This game has also been teaching me to use both my buttons. I, I fuck this yes. up all the time. Yeah, same here. Like, oh, I've, to actually like I've never rotate I've, both ways. Yeah, I've never rotated both ways in the entire history of Tetris <laughs> until this game. 
Congratulations. Do you use both? Yes. Man. No, I was always I uh, just one way, three times, four times. Yeah, Doesn't I always happen. felt like it was faster to just keep hitting the same button than to move your phone to hit a different button. But yeah, when the stakes are really high and it's dropping super fast and you know you only have so many spins before. I'm not saying that sometimes I don't fuck it up <laughs> while I'm trying to you know, hit the wrong All right, button. here we go. Check okay. it out. So I'm going to need to rotate to the right. Left. Ah! Thanks. I fucked it up. Oh, you don't fail out immediately? No. Mm. Oh! There we go. Okay. okay. He's been double. He's been double. Look at that. Very fancy. So, yeah, this one kind of like teaches you to look out for openings that you might not otherwise see in your play. I definitely felt like I've gotten better at Tetris. Oh, this this one's fucked. You gotta, ah! Oh, you gotta rotate it in there so oh, it gets wow, yeah. horizontal, and then you gotta sink see, it all the way to the bottom. It seems like it shouldn't be possible. <laughs> hey man, the Tetris has changed. Oh, Here, Brad, oh boy. Take a crack at one of Calling these. the Tetris yeah. cops. All right. Let's so no local see. multiplayer or anything like that? Yeah, but I think have. that's... My biggest complaint with the game mm. is a lack of any sort of... I understand maybe like a versus mode would go against the calmness and sure. chillness that this game is so hard on. Also, it's, you know, it's it's a VR game. Yeah. You know, that's that's not... One person wears a VR headset. Um, so... But it's, you know, maybe like some sort of light co-op thing would have been nice. Oh god, what did I do? You, you have... Okay. Better? So yeah, when that countdown is done, when there's Boom. a certain number of drops left, yeah, that I think this is cool mode. Yeah. eyepiece comes in. Yeah, I like this this mode. I like this mode until two start showing up, yeah. then I get too stressed yeah. out. <laughs> Jeff, I was talking to you earlier about this, but uh, NPR put out an article talking about a scientific study that was done that shows how Tetris is used as an anti-anxiety tool. Um, even if people were good at the game, bad at the game, just the, the act of being in it creates something that psychologists call flow. Right. And that's kind of like, you know, having all your thought put into one action. I believe that is the Tetris effect, <laughs> is it not? Uh, yeah. That is the case. I like science. I fucking love science. Love science, hate my brain. <laughs> Uh, it's weird because I find Tetris to be stressful <laughs> a lot of the time. Uh, I do too. Like, but I guess that's that doesn't necessarily preclude it from being something that relieves anxiety. It is just, hey, you're too stressed about this to think about all the other things you would think about. Yeah. And for me, it's that kind of, I don't know, there's a good stress sometimes. Sure, yeah. It's like the same sort of stress you would get before like public speaking or something in a way where you signed up for this shit, you put yourself here, yep. you, you better do yourself. it. Yeah. Right move. So what I'm confused ah. about sometimes is there's, so like marathon mode is a classic mode. It's yeah. 300, or it's either 150 or 300 lines. Mm -hmm. Clear it as fast as you can, and you're scored on it. Um, sometimes I don't know if I should be prioritizing speed or score. You know, in some of these modes, like uh, sprint is clear 40 lines as fast as possible. Right. I don't know if that one's purely graded on just speed alone. Like, they're not exactly always clear about right. why you're getting the rank you're getting, which go from D to double S, I believe. Yeah. I'd say for this, for these modes, you, I believe they all have leaderboards, so you could probably look pretty quickly and see oh, what right. the leaderboard is sorted by, uh, and go that way with it. Oh, mess. Yeah, I've never looked at leaderboards on here. We should awful. take a peek after this. They try to do a thing that it's, it's not entirely uh. unlike, uh... Luminous for the Vita? Had the world block? Nice. 
What's that? It was uh, it was like a uh, every every basically every block you cleared in Luminous contributed to an overall goal. Okay, they're uh, and they have a thing like that in this. Uh, I think they said they're going to be timed events. Yeah, like weekend events. I yeah. Think. So there's, so there's not one currently running, but there was yeah. one running over the weekend when we were when I was playing it. Uh, but not enough people had the game to yeah. actually complete it. So. Yeah. And I saw that you can unlock like avatars yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's mostly just avatars. I mean, if anything, it actually feels kind of like their attempt at making this a, a live game of sorts. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Like, hey, here's a reason to play right now. Yeah. Get people back in. I was kind of theory crafting this mode, and I think you can set up some really ridiculous shit if you're spent a lot of time. I mean, yeah, you could, well, hmm. I'm trying to think, could you set up a combo that would clear more than four lines? I don't think it, like, go, I think it's just, it locks in where you right. are. But yes, yes, you can set up, you can clear more than four lines because I've had, like, I've gotten a Tetris from clearing two and two. Oh, huh. Uh, that were next to each other. Oh, okay, yeah. So I think theoretically if I had like built up one more row on the top I could get three and two. God make a Tetris so big even he couldn't complete Yeah, it's in the mystery mode. <laughs> yeah. That's big Tetris over there in the mystery mode. That's right. Um, Be for Brad. Should we play another effect? Oh, we should play a couple more effects. Yeah. yeah, we played a bunch of the mystery mode in that video we did with them when they came by. Um, I like Countdown. I think that one's a neat one. Do you want to take a run at something? Yeah, sure. Uh, what? Uh, huh. I'm really bad at combo. Uh, so I, I like the. Just scroll down a little bit. Let's just show the. A um, little more. Yeah, the playlists. I, I think those are nice little. They feel. Okay, so this pulls in. This is pulling in stages from just like, mode. Yeah, yeah. sort of themed. I, I, I do like those um, as a concept. Hmm. Well, maybe I should do one of those. I think the C one has some good stuff in it. All right. Is that, is that like all four stages in a row? Yes. That, that could be pretty long. Mm, all right. What is combo mode? Uh, you have to keep C. clearing one line. Every drop has to clear at least one oh, line. Oh wow, that sounds cool. Oh, that's interesting. I saw an achievement that there is a... I'll do Ultra, I guess. There is a, a, a trophy for getting a 15 combo, which just seems impossible, because the most I've gotten is th three or four. What's the objective here? Three minutes. Oh, just just flat out play Tetris for three minutes. Yeah. Can do. I really like the music in this game. Yeah. When we had them come by, meaning uh, Mizuguchi uh, music and uh, Mark McDonald, they were talking about um, how the music took a really long time because they would send it back and for like they'd send it, they'd get it, play it with the music send it back if they needed to tweak a little bit. And you can tell that hard work really paid off because a lot of the music just feels so right when you're going, when you're flowing, yeah. it just feels like it was made for the game you were playing. Yeah, well, I mean, he was saying they were even making changes to the visual treatment of the stages based yeah. on the music they were getting in, so it was a very collaborative thing. But yeah, like, it's kind of the same way with stuff like Res and even maybe Luminous to an extent that I don't go for this style of music at all outside <laughs> of games like this. Yeah. But here, I'm just like super into it. It just it works with the subject really well. It's definitely the most woke Tetris I've played. That, you know, we're all in this together yeah, theme. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it is, it is genuinely uplifting in a lot of spots. There were moments during the, the journey mode where it, not all stages 
have complete have you give you complete control over the music and stuff they have varying effects of how much you control what's happening there are stages where when i was playing it for the first time i legitimately couldn't tell if it was a pre-programmed track or me spinning the tetronome was making the songs yeah it's weird because you don't really think about tetris having a rhythmic quality to it no but you totally get into like a vibe like in some spots it felt like the music was making me play faster yeah I wanted to match yeah, what was going on. Totally. It's a really good feeling. I started to say like it's weird to care about a Tetris game again or something to that effect, but I guess Tetris never really left. Well, no, it's, it, it, it didn't leave, but like I just didn't. Ubisoft care. did not do good things yeah, with Tetris. That's, that's, like that's they made what that busted ass one for PS4, right? Yeah. Yes, that's right. God, what was wrong with that? There it was, was like if you, had a, a, if you had a big friends list, yes. it blew up, and yes. it was just like it crashed. It was just, a, a, and on top of that, it was not a, just not a good game, even. Yeah. I'll stand by that the last Tetris made that was worth caring about was Tetris DS. That's a good version of Tetris. Yeah. That's a very good game. Uh, I mean, Puyo Puyo Tetris, obviously, is, oh, is, is sure. a yeah. weird thing. Uh, although yeah. that, that, to me, was a little too di diluted for what I was looking for. You could get straight apps Tetris well, yeah. out of that thing if you wanted it, uh, and and fun characters. I just uh, appreciated that that had a replay system, so you could go online and watch yeah, really good yeah, people play you Tetris. Watch, uh, people play, play. You can play some Master. All right, I'm gonna play some Master. Oh, is this where the crazy M speeds are? Yeah, insanely fast Tetris. So it goes up to M30. What? I think. I've gotten to M6, and I don't know how you would do better than that. <sighs> okay. These aren't uh, the ghosts, these are the pieces. Uh... I... Nope. What? Nope. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold up, hold up, alright. <laughs> I gotta get fully concentrated here. This mode sucks. I love it. Yeah, that's uh... This I'm seems hard. I'm a little confused about the mechanics, because you're he's not having to infinitely spin to keep it from planting. Right? Well that's that's you you are always given a little bit of time. Like this that those will eventually so. plant. Yeah. Uh I feel like some of these modes have been really good, or or I, I feel like this game in general. Maybe I'm just trying to think about Tetris a different way. Um, I feel like I'm better at getting into and out of trouble in this game. Or yeah. It's like knowing yeah. when it's like, oh, I need to yes. give up my like idea of this perfect straight line all the way down the right side because of the pieces it gave me. Like like right there of just like, oh, that'll clear and it won't actually block my shit. Or I'm going to block this shit, but I can I know I can unblock it like three pieces later if I just do this, this, and this. And and being willing to and remaining calm when <clears throat> fucking it up. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is definitely definitely the most analytically I've ever played Tetris, I guess. I would say. I don't know what it is about this thing, but yeah, it feels like it makes you improve your game. I never even thought about having a Tetris game before. <sighs> yeah, no, I always felt like, oh, you know, I'm I okay. feel like I'm okay at Tetris right. for the average person, but I am not some Tetris weirdo. Well, that's what it is. That's what it was. It's like, hey, it's Tetris. Everybody knows how to play that. Like, you just play it, right? Right. You, you just, just play, play Tetris. It. That's all like, there is. And it's like, no, there are plenty of people who don't just play Tetris. Yeah. And I will never be one of those, but... This, this game sort of gives you a taste of what that's like, I would say? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I can't say for sure. Yeah. Not being a grandmaster. T Tetris, Tetris weirdo like myself.
fuck. Ah, uh, see, I, that was the limit of my spins there. I couldn't spin anymore, just locked it in. Revoking your Tetris weirdo status. Kind of makes me want to go back and look at some old Tetrises. Ranking of Tetris? Yeah. Ooh. Well, I don't, know that I, have, I don't know that any of us have the authority to put that on down on paper. I'm a, I'm a scientist. I don't know what you're talking about. No. I can do that. There we Are go. Are there other Game Boy Tetrises besides the first one? Yeah. Were they all put out by Nintendo? Uh... Did Nintendo have the license for at that time? I wonder if they were just... Yeah, Nintendo did other Tetris. Uh, like, Tetris 2 was, like... Is that on the NES? No, I want to say that was also on Game Boy. Okay. But maybe that was just Bulletproof doing it at that point. I just, I remember the scandalous release of the first NES Tetris and not having a two-player mode. Ah! It was quite controversial. That was only controversial because of the existence of a bootleg or unauthorized Tetris game yeah. that did well, have Well, yeah. Well, and you know, the Link Cable two-player Game Boy thing was oh, yeah, you're, fairly okay. popular. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That, that definitely. I played a lot of that in NES Tetris. I probably played more of that. Oh, let me than... over. Fuck this game. Wow, M7. Oh. So basically, as the M's increase, you get less spins and less time to be stationary. Because, uh, you know, it can't really increase speed at this point. Yeah. I believe this is referred to as G20 in Tetris Grandmaster. The state of, like, there being no airborne time. Mm. I looked up a lot of Tetris <laughs> it's lingo. It's it's weird how much of it there is. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, you think of like, oh, Tetris is this thing. Any device plays Tetris. Your phone, whatever. Every phone, you know, anything. Can, your microwave plays Tetris. Uh, and and it's easy to mistake that for it being a very simplistic game. But I guess. I mean, some anything are... but. I mean, it, well, whatever. It, it's a very simple game. Yeah, it but. is. Like, that's why it works, right? Like, I was I was describing the concept of a skill curve to somebody who doesn't really, like, play video games or know anything about them. And just talking about how Tetris is a good example of a pretty... pretty solid skill curve of, like, easy to pick up, hard to master. Uh, and the more you start playing of it, the more you start seeing the different strategies and realizing what you can actually do in the game. No, no. Oh god, I'm at M9. Huh. It's just stressing me out to watch you play this. Don't worry, it'll all be over soon. <laughs> this background doesn't help. <laughs> Especially having a track sounds like it's building up to something that's going to end. And like, uh, oh no, no, it ends when you lose at Tetris. I hate when I switch the piece and it's the same piece. That gives you more spins though. It, it does, like, I mean, time. it buys you time, but. That was a mini T-spin double. Hell yeah. Please give me the... No! <laughs> <laughs> Never give up! Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I want to save that square. Oh, okay, I give up. <laughs> 100 lines? Yeah. Now do that for three times as long. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's check out the leaderboard stuff. And then, uh, yeah, so there's these challenges uh, that you unlock and they do different stuff like mostly background music, I've noticed. For yeah, for this menu, menu specifically, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, leaderboards. Okay, cool. So it shows points? Wait, what does points mean? You have to change the oh. category at the top. Oh, I see. Yeah, so just score there. I wish it. you could just see where you were. There's always the number one person on uh, the fil One of the filters should be you. Yeah, filter. Did I get 69,000? Triangle at the bottom. Guess not. Uh, sometimes leaderboards don't update immediately also. Okay. Um, yeah, and then, you know, you can... You unlock different avatars by playing. You start out with the fish here. Certain levels. Uh, I don't know... If there's any other way to unlock avatars other than leveling up, um, and the event ones, which are to come. I think I got one for participating in the weekend event. Yeah. The triangle. Yeah, so you can scroll through these and see. <clears throat> I think some of these give avatars. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, you can change your background music, any of the tracks from the game, plus some other it's ones the, that you would love. Dolphin one. The dolphin one? And then when you first load this menu up, you choose where you're from. Yeah. And then that's that little glowing point in the world there. So let's, uh, you can actually just... Oh, cool. This yeah. seems like it would be a fun little VR thing to do. Oh, yeah. I kind of guessed. I think maybe we're a little more north. Yeah, probably. That's SoCal. But then you can just go see your friends, kind of floating around there. See what level they are. I don't know, this is, as far as games that are just Tetris with some other stuff in, it's pretty damn good. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the presentation, the music, the VR, all of it works really well in a cohesive way that makes this game feel just more than just Tetris to me. Yeah, totally. Um, I, I think that, yeah. It's got a strong identity to it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. I need to go rest my eyes. Why is that Tetris piece vaping? These questions are not meant to be asked. Okay. You'll find out in the story mode. Oh, all right. <laughs>